And first on Fox, a deadly shooting this morning on a Metrolink train. The shooting at the Maplewood station reportedly stemming from an argument between two passengers that escalated. Fox News' Ella Arabi spoke with concerned passengers about that shooting. St. Louis County Police Crimes Against Persons Detectives are now investigating a homicide that resulted in one man's death. County police say officers responded at 10 Saturday morning to a shooting that happened on a Metrolink train, which had just stopped at the Maplewood station. Police say the suspect and victim got into an argument on the train that resulted in the suspect shooting the victim. Officers found an adult male suffering from apparent gunshot injuries. He was transported to an area hospital for treatment, but later died of his injuries. Chris Bino takes the train almost every day. He says he was going to a friend's house in the morning when he heard of the shooting. Really at first I didn't know it until I pulled up here and noticed all the you know officers and everything going on and I was, I was kind of shocked, startled because I mean for this you know it just doesn't happen much in the, on, on this line here. The St. Louis County Police Department has not yet identified the suspect or victim nor disclosed information on possible charges. A spokesperson for by state development says police were already on another area of the same train when the shooting occurred. They were able to arrest the suspect almost immediately. It's a crazy thing to think about. Ross McGuire is visiting from Scotland. It's just it's a shocking state of affairs, isn't it? So um, they really they need to sort something out with the gun laws. I mean, I know that's that can be a controversial opinion. It's sort of split down the middle in this country, which is Mad. Train routes running between the Shrewsbury Lansdowne I-44 and Brentwood I-64 stations were stalled for a few hours due to the situation, but Metrolink service has since been restored. To see the full statement from Bi-State Development, check out our website, fox2now.com. In Maplewood, Ala Araby, Fox 2 News.